okay? 57% of the shooters were Caucasian, 24% were black, 96% were men. Age range, youngest was 22, oldest was 88, median age was 33, 98% of the time they operate by themselves. The most powerful weapons used in active shooter situations are those blasted AR-15s, those deadly assault weapons, right? Not according to the numbers. In 126% of the instances, 56%, the most powerful weapon used was a handgun. Most powerful weapon used rifle, only 25% of the time. Shotgun, 16% of the time. 37% of the 242 used multiple weapons. Seven of them, they didn't know what it was, and only 4% body armor was worn. Relationships. Absolutely no relationship to the people that are being shot, 49% of the time. 22% are coworkers, 17% are students, 31% are others. Church members, secondary relatives, and 13, there, there was no known, or they, they weren't able to ascertain the relationship to the shooter. This is interesting, how they end. Okay, this is a grid. The first side is pre-police, right here. This is where the police actually arrive before the shooting stops. This is where the shooting stops after, uh, or the police get there after the shootings end, okay? What you're gonna see, out of 242 total, there's 121, okay, that ended before the police got there, and 121 that ended after the police got there. The attacker voluntarily stops either by committing suicide or leaving in 84 out of 121. The victim stopped the attacker 37% of the time. 29, they're subdued. Only 8%, one of the intended victims shoots the bad guy. Why is that number so low? Is it because the, the good guys are bad shots? Dan gave you the answer to that question. Where do the vast majority of shooting situations take place? Gun-free gun -free zones. So there are no guns to. So what happens? People now look at it and go, geez, we gotta stop the guy. We're gonna subdue him. You heard in the news about the school in Pennsylvania that had a bucket of hockey pucks and told it, and everybody laughed. You know what? There's actually some science behind that. Interrupting the shooter's OODA loop. <clears throat> after, uh, when the uh, situation uh, ends after police arrive, again, 121 instances, the attacker stops 35% of the time, 27, or not 35%, uh, not but 35 instances, committed suicide, 27 instances, and voluntarily surrendered, eight. The police managed to stop the attacker by shooting him in 63 instances, and physically subduing him by other non-firearm uh, non means 23, uh, 23 instances out of the time. So this is basically it. Attacker commits suicide 24% of the time. Attacker leaves the scene 11% of the time. Potential victims stop the attacker only in 